Live in Las Vegas. Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be. Without you, baby, want you all night long, want you all night long. Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be. What's your name? I'm Jessica. Hey. Jessica. <laughs> right. So t tell me about Top Golf. What's uh, what's the uh, what's the plan? What happens? Okay. So Never been before. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. You get drinks, food, and play some golf games. Okay. Come on, you. Oh, lot. sorry. It's okay. All right. So at this venue, we have two pools. Yeah. This one has the best clubs. The men's clubs on the left. The women's clubs on the right. Right. Yeah. One person is over the red line while someone else is hitting. You don't want to mess up your pretty face by getting hit. We asked that y'all knew any Happy Gilmore swings, troublemakers, okay? <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? I know you're the troublemaker. <laughs> Why are you pointing you know, at me? With hair like this, you gotta be the troublemaker. <laughs> it's too beautiful not to be. The points are for the, the target below the screen. Okay. So I don't know the exact number. Got it. Because each one is different. So the, the outside would probably be 10 versus the inside at 20. So we have a game that will tell you which target to um, score in. So it'll say aim for the red target or aim for the yellow target okay. or white. Yeah. It depends on what you want to play. Okay. And we have a game like um, Candy Crush. And it'll, so you'll connect the three colors and then it'll like... Explode you were going to yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> it'll explode on the screen. Okay, okay, right. And it'll give you like mad points. Are there are there sensors in the ball? Is yeah, that, it's a tracker. Why, tracker, that's yes. why... You, so the, the track is, is registered under your name or number, and so when you hit it, you can see the track here and here and where it lands. And that's how it gives you the points. Gotcha. Yeah. There's the yard. I want a ball. There's the yard. Oh, okay. He doesn't listen to a thing on no. He has attention deficit disorder. <laughs> what? Yeah. Do the, uh, She's doing the stretches. What's a Spaniard guy? The stretches he does? Oh, him and us. Big doggy! <laughs> 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 
Okay, good. Right, so that was that. We, so obviously you know Maddie, there's Maddie here. This is Mundo, a uh, very close friend of mine from Vegas. Uh, we've uh, run some festivals over here before, didn't we? Vegas yeah. Unplugged and uh, you know and that kind of thing. What, we did three years of that, did we? Something like that, was it? Yeah, Scarred. Scarred for life, scarred. but <laughs> it was a fun time. So uh, Mundo's a mid-handicapper. What do you shoot round, luckily? Uh, high 80s to maybe low 90s. There you go. And Maddie? Um, high 80s to low 90s uh, when okay. I play nine. <laughs> All right, so we, we, uh, we've got three different perspectives. Um, I'll start with you then, Mundo. What was, it, what was your take on it? Because you've played it once before, haven't you? I've played it once before. I brought my son. He, got, he actually got a little bored, but the video game aspects I thought would, you know, you'll, you'll see in Stewart's video, you'll, I thought it would grab him. I, I find it makes me want to go to a golf course, although it's, it's fun. I ended up only really hitting the eight. Eight wedge and the six wedge. Eight wedge. Yeah. <laughs> it's that a technical term. <laughs> not, not eight iron. <laughs> eight iron, and it felt like wedges because like it was wedge. so close. It, there was the clubs were so thick. Big yeah, Berthas. They were, yeah. They looked like but, but wedges. But very easy to hit, you know. I, I, yeah. I needed that. All right. That helped me. Maddie, what's yeah. your take on it? You um, quite enjoyed it, didn't you? I enjoyed it. I'm wondering if there's like a scale of the worse you are, the more you enjoy it, possibly. Because, <laughs> because you you don't have any expectation of your game and you're just out to have some fun so I thought it was quite fun yeah I agree I mean I, I was yeah. just jammy you know things were just rolling in and bouncing off things and it was just fun you know I, I think I think for me um, I quite enjoyed it I quite enjoyed watching you two have a good game because that was funny yeah we had fun and it's, a, it's very much it's very much like bowling isn't it you know if you're, if you're like not particularly good at it it's good fun because you could just like whack it down there and have a you know a bit of a laugh and to be fair maddie did invent the power fade bounce <laughs> the i throw. did and i it feel proud that about that and yes kicked. yes but there yeah. are other games yeah. where they, they will there, tell you which targets. target to aim for and it's and and is it specific when you go into the target how, yeah the, the bit yeah. in the middle so maybe we're playing an easier game so we need to play it a bit more but uh, I, I quite enjoy it i think it would get people into it i think you'd kind of people would kind of have a drink, have a fun and have a laugh, you know. Good party. I think a good birthday party atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Like, like bowling or something. I'm not sure I would do it for a long time, but it did, it did make me want to go out and play golf as well. I mean, yeah. I, would, I would kind of, it's quite nice. I suppose you could sharpen some of your shots up, maybe your wedges or something, or if you were a beginner, because it puts a bit of pressure on you hitting a good shot. I, got I would have had more fun if I brought my own clubs, which I did the first and time. And you can do that, yeah? But you can't hit, you really can't hit a what would you say, a three hybrid and up? Yeah, no. I mean, you can, you won't go I, over I the nets. They are I massive could. nets at you the back. You won't go over the nets, I but you'll go past them. the target. Yeah, you go past the target. So I don't think it's so much as a driving range. But we were elevated. We were on the top tier. So we had, uh, thank you very much to Top Golf. They sorted us out really well. We had a, we had great place, didn't we? I think the yeah. higher tiers are like more posh, aren't they? They've so there's actually oh, a pool geez. behind us. Oh, nice. And okay. a club atmosphere and, and a bar. But I think it was more expensive as well. That I wouldn't know. I, I think she the mentioned. The lower levels were uh, family, the family levels, oh. no bar. Okay. You can still get uh, alcoholic beverages, but there is yeah, no bar. bar up there. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, I really enjoyed it. I w I'll do it again. I think it'd be good fun. I would definitely do it with people that I wanted to get into golf just for a bit of a laugh. Like, I would yeah. take my kids there. I was yeah. going to say, I think the kids would probably I think the kids would love fun. it. Yeah. So, I think for me, it's a thumbs up. I enjoyed it. What about you? Yeah, I enjoyed it. You it's enjoyed it, fun. Monday? Yeah. You'll do it again? Thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. It's a Hawaiian thumbs up for the social aspect. I'm going it was great. For the Hawaiian thumbs up. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Thanks very much to Top Golf for sorting us out. Uh, we had a great time, and um, I'd, I'd recommend anybody to come and do it. It was invented in England. 
by two guys. Watford was the first one, which I was amazed. I thought this was typical, amazing for, for Vegas. But um, so if you're in the UK, go and check the one out, one of them out in the UK. And if you're in Vegas, it's definitely worth a trip. See you guys. See you next week. Aloha.